Hey, my beauties. Hey, my chicas. Hey, my glow queens. Hello, my glamours. Happy, happy hump day, everybody. Even though the day is almost over, it is real time. Almost over. Oh, my gosh. It is 8.41 p.m. I've gotten a lot done today. I hope you guys had a productive day. Um, busy, busy, scurrying around, getting the kids. Um, everything they need for back to school. I think I'm pretty much done. They've got haircuts, tried on clothes from last year because we don't waste. If you can wear them, you're going to keep wearing them or pass them down to your brother. Or That's just how we roll in this household. And Javon, the 17-year-old who's going to be a senior, we had his open house today. So we got his schedule, um, got that out of the way. Jaden and Jameer, um, two middle schoolers, I have their open house tomorrow. So I hope that is going great for everybody that's, you know, representing for the kids, okay? Doing what we got to do. So this is why I'm really here, okay? So I have been um, putting some money in these saving challenges right here. They are actually my tinies. Um, I think on Probably a couple of videos I have talked about these tinies that I absolutely love because the denominations are like so low. And before you know it, you are finished with them. And I either switch them out for some others or I will just clean them off and just start all over again. That's how much I love them, okay? These tinies are, <gasps> I just love them, okay? So let's get going. So this is just to show you a few of them. Um, you probably can't even see that one. Cause it's in the back. Let me see. Yeah, my money is usually behind it. So let me just go ahead and put that back there like that, like that. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going. I'm gonna come back to these. Um, this one I really like, uh, $20, you say $160. This Panther I like from Frugality is Life. I think it is absolutely beautiful. Just beautiful. And that saves $28. And I need 12 more dollars and that will be completed. I think I got this from um, Eva, Budget Your Life. This saves $85. So yeah. So let me come back to the one that I really want you guys to see because I have talked about this because I absolutely love this challenge from Dreamy Budgets. I believe that's where it's from. Let me make sure y'all. Yep, dreamy budget. Ah, Y'all, this is something about this monthly challenge that, first of all, it's fairly easy. And I think I said in one video, like it just really connects you to your feelings, you know, for the day. Um, this is her savings mood tracker. And I printed out, I printed out one for each month and I'll show you guys in a minute. But what I want to show you is, the completed paper. See, for the month of July. And today is July 31st. Oh, happy pre-August, everybody. So I am done with that. And I saved $101. See the little sad little dollar right here? This is $100 right here. $2 bills. $100. Because what I try to do is just set aside between 90 and a hundred dollars um because you know depending on how many days it's in a month it's going to determine well that's going to determine how much you save and whatever your mood is because you put the amount according to the mood that you are in for that day so the highest amount is five dollars then three dollars then two dollars then there are a few moves like sad stressed um, tired, um, you only pay $1. So I just love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm not sure what I'm going to reallocate this to. Um, I probably wait till I do a couple of more months. It may go to Christmas. It may go into our, um, in-home bank, um, funds that I like, you know, keep in the house for when, you know, we need some quick cash or the grandkids need something really, really quick. So I'm just going to put it back in these nice, clear um, envelopes that I absolutely love from Comfort Coins. 
I love these envelopes, y'all. I actually ordered, I think, 10 more from her today. She also has a zipper. Actually, these are hers right here. They are zippered. But I ordered some more of the zipperless today because they just, I don't know, they're, they're sturdy, they're strong, really pretty, so clear. So, yeah, I ordered some more today. So, anyway, so I have, like I said, I printed out one for each month of the year. And I started with July because um, this is when I happened to be watching Dreamy Budgets video. And um, this is the first one um, that she, this is the first time that I saw her offering it, which was happened to be this month. So I started with July and I printed them out up to next July. So a whole year, y'all. Let me turn it around so you guys can see. So I have August and what I did for August because I know August starts tomorrow. So I just put like, I think $6 in here just to get me started because I don't know what my mood is going to be tomorrow. And I just wanted to have some cash on hand because I may or may not be able to put the monies in like every day. I may wait, um, you know, until um, there's another payday coming in or some side hustle money coming in. And then I can, you know, catch up because that's kind of how I did on um, July's um, mood tracker. So, but we'll see because August also has 31 days too. But again, it's going to go by your mood, okay? So I have August, I have September, um, October, I have November, and December, and then going into 2025, I have January, I have February, get back in there, March, because like I said, I pretty much just did a whole year from July to July, um, April, then May, June, and July 2025. So let me get closer. You can see July 2025. Um, so I'm not sure if I would keep all of them in here as I complete them because I'm not sure how bulky it may make my binder. Um, like I said, not sure how I'm going to reallocate the funds, but I just love this tracker. I just think it's so neat. And I just thank you, Dreamy Budgets, if you just happen to be watching my video. Love, love, love this challenge. And um, that's all I want to say. That, that's what this video was about. My um, Some of my savings challenges, because I have no whole nother book of challenges um, like this. And then, you know, some other specialty challenge books that I have, like my Christmas challenge book right here. Um, the farm, the farmer's market from breathing budget, my giveaway that I won, the affirmations from, um, my budget plans. So yeah, of course we all are overloaded with saving challenges. Okay. And I, I didn't even mention all of them, but it's all good and it's all in fun. Okay. So I'm going to be out of here and I will see you guys next time. Bye.